guys, welcome back to our car Prime, where we love us somewhat. And we're going to be taking a look at Starscream, Armada Universe Starscream today. And I got to tell you, um, very, very fun transformation. Did enjoy it. First of all, let's take a look at the packaging. <laughs> so here we got the Transformers Legacy. Nice little shot of him in his er uh, his aircraft. Let's raise this up a little bit. There you have him right here. Nice artwork on the side. You can pause that if you want to. Take a picture of it. Nice there. And nice artwork on the side. And as always, it's an authentic. It's authentic Transformer. This is an authentic Transform, you wonder how you can tell? Because it says it's authentic right there. Authentic. And that is it for the packaging. So let's go ahead and just push that thing back there. And let's bring the camera back down. So here we have the Transformers uh, Armada. I was actually on the line about getting this. And uh, it was actually gotten for me as a Christmas present. So I was like, hey, can't go wrong. Um, if you do, you can check out also uh, the other list and other Transformers we have from Legacy. I hope to have a place. Uh, I hope to get my tongue back. I can speak words, I promise. I can. I can. I can speak them. If I try to. But let's get to this look at this guy. Now, he's not without his flaws, but he is enjoyable. So the first thing is up. Now, uh, as you can see, I have issues. This front piece here is all black. And it's not translucent uh, plastic, which whew, I'm happy about. But it didn't really do a good job matching up the uh, reds. Like they did here where they, on the wings, where they come together. But nice. Nice, nice all the way around. Nice underbelly. Very much a nice little jet to go. Uh, he does have his swords. So let's take a look at the weapons real quick. Uh, he does have a saber. And where it is, like he took off his wing. And that was his sword. Uh, this has very different places that you can actually plug this in. There is a port. Which is right up front here. Tab that in. It looks like he's got a blast coming out from uh, from up underneath him, like he's shooting. Uh, they do tab in in all these ports. One here, uh, the one right here, right there, and the one right there. So you do have all these places that you can store the weapons if you choose to do so. Me, I don't typically do that in their alt mode. I don't typically. Uh, store their weapons on there um but then again you know it's not very many i do keep in their alt mode just a couple of them but uh you know what he was a lot of fun um i was like i said i was on the fence i saw uh if you haven't seen yet go to uh, ability kid uh no no b uh s um bs reviews uh check him out he actually got this guy in and his uh, was just floppy everywhere so I could understand him having the, the those issues with it me I didn't have though that much issues with this which I was really surprised and I'm actually happy that someone got this for me so let's take a look at transformation so the first thing we want to do is come onto the under pump pin here and we're going to just take the arms and we're gonna untab, they have a little tab right there, and then they tab right there, and just bring those straight down like so. Now you're gonna do this side, untab, bring down like so. After that, you're gonna unhook. There are two pieces, one's here and one's there. You're gonna unhook those, and that's gonna loosen up the legs where you can now start to bring them out to the side. And mine, for some reason, is tighter. It tabs in a lot tighter on this side, but there you go. After that, you're gonna then bring them down and rock them around. Bring them down, rock them around. 
Come back here, untap the toes, get the heel spur to come out. If I can get the heel spur to come out. I'm out of there. <laughs> only when the camera's doing, you know that? Has this, this ever happened to you? Where you're on the camera, you're trying to do the transform, you don't have this problem uh, while you're messing with him before. There he goes. Before the uh, review. It's during the review that you actually have all the little hiccups and little pain in the butt things. So there you go. His hill spurs, bringing those out there. Now, um, my legs are not as loosey, goosey, but the waist is slightly more than I care. The other thing you're going to do is you're going to come here, untie the wing here, untie the wing there, then bring this whole display and chest piece. Don't forget to fold these in, and then you're going to bring the whole chest piece, bring the head up, bring the whole chest piece down, and then this will all tab together like it's supposed to. There's this little piece right here that, got, that hooks with this lock here. And I'm trying to get it to go right so when it does close, his head will be in the right spot. There we go. Bring that down to a clicks. Let's bring the camera up a little bit. Now we're gonna do that. Close those up like so. Bend arms, you're gonna come here. You're gonna open this panel right here, which is black. I don't know why they went this way when the whole other thing is always is all gray and painted. But they decided to go black here and paint it. I don't know why they just didn't go with the gray and just paint it green. I mean red there, but they did that. The hands are red, but they painted them black. So kind of curious about the choices of why some things got paint when you could have easily just done it with the uh with the um, actual, oh, I forgot to show something off. On the other one, when he's in his jet mode, these things can come up and you can have some big old boom cannons like you did. And I forgot to show that off when he was in the uh, robot mode. I mean, the, his op mode. So you do have that nice little gimmick nod. Um, from there, you're gonna take these panels here, fold those in, tab them in. Again, tab in. And uh, <laughs> surprisingly, this guy uh, is enjoyable. He really is. I was highly surprised at how well he was. Now, his arms do go all the way around. You do have the fact that you can move the um, wing to get that full motion. Does go all the way out like so. He does have like what looks like a butterfly joint. I think that's because of the transformation maybe, but he does have it where the arm can go back. Now it is on a slide thing, as you can see right here. And so you would definitely want me to get that back where it's supposed to. And then you'll have a little bit of play right there. Legs go all the way up like this. They go all the way back right there. You have a nice knee bend. You have angle, tail down, and in. So you do have that. You do have a waist rotation. It's slightly hindered because of this right here. But that's about it. And then he really does get his legs way out there. I mean, this guy's been stretching. I mean, he really has been stretching. He's been doing his yoga every morning. Every morning he's been doing his yoga. Gotta get that leg squeezed out every morning. Yeah, so let me bring this back down, bring that. And so, as you can see, uh, there is no wrist rotation. There is a bicep, which is right up here, rotation. He does have this nice, more than nine degree bend. And that's also for transformation. So that's nice to have also. 
But as you can see, it is a, now when he is in robot mode, I do have a complaint because when he is in his robot mode, like he is right now, he does not stay really tabbed that well right here. And I don't think it's, and, and then you can actually see the two contrast in the red from the paint to the plastic. Uh, that's just a little small nitpick for me. His head can go all the way up like he's flying at you and down. And you go all the way around. It's on a ball joint. But other than that, I really don't have that many complaints about this star screen. Um, I'm very happy he's in my collection. Uh, if you've seen, I recommend you pick him up. Uh, yours may vary. I mean, you know, some people are getting really loose ones. Some are getting, like mine, seems to be tight. Uh, could be more transformant. Could become loose. Uh, don't know, but I have seen different reviewers that's talked about that. I do like that head sculpt. I absolutely love that head sculpt. It looks awesome. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the review. Please leave a comment down below. Also, leave a like and a comment and if you would subscribe help out the family we appreciate you thank you so much as always let me grab what i said hold on something in your youth you'll never grow old look to the stars grab one for yourself bye guys